All right, so in the last video, we had these three sprites loaded in, and we're going to start deleting them because we no longer need them. It'll delete the child if we collect that one, and we're going to hit this one and delete it as well. Now all we have left is no 2D. By the way, if you accidentally deleted this, you can just go ahead and click 2D scene again and remake it. It's no big deal. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to call this something. It doesn't really need to be anything in particular. In fact, I might even just call it something to display to you that it, the naming doesn't really matter. And we can hit Control S and it will actually ask us to save a scene in Godot real quick. And it's going to try to name it after our root node something over there. And just to show you that that doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I'm going to save it underneath a different name on there. Now, the main thing, the main reason why you want to use names that you'll remember and sometimes you want the name to match up is so that you can find it and you know what you're looking for at a later time. Anyways, we're going to right click on to this RES folder over here. We're going to make a new folder on here. We're going to call them scenes and we're going to drag over, it doesn't matter, onto scenes like so, so that we start to get some organization. We're going to right click and we're going to make another new folder. We're going to call it art and that art folder is going to be uh, where we load up our art, of course. This is just so that we don't get something too convoluted onto this. All right, so now that we have something going for us, yeah, let's start going over some scripting. So anytime you want to add a script to something, you just click on the node that you want to add a script to, and you hit this plus button with the scroll on it right here. So we're going to add a script to something on there, and we're going to create it after we click that button. And it's going to put in all these like pink things and stuff. These are comments, meaning they don't do anything. And we're just going to delete all of that. So select everything underneath extends no 2D, and we're going to hit delete on that. So I'm going to extend out my screen by clicking these four arrows. You do not need to do that in order to follow along. So let's start really talking about this. So what does it mean the script? The scripting is just using certain words that the system knows to look for to make things happen. And we're communicating with a couple different things. We're communicating one with Godot and we're connected and we're communicating two with the nodes itself. So we're communicating one with the main engine and two with the nodes themselves. What you need to know is that you need to communicate with something in order to make something happen. And it's gonna be looking for certain words, right? To make things happen. Like this extends word that lights up in red tells it that we're gonna be taking some of the functionality from node2d, which is a type of node that exists inside the system. Right? And you don't need to know what that means yet. Don't worry about it. So there's two main things that you need to understand in order to use scripting. Two things that are kind of the heart and soul of it all. And then everything else kind of just extends upon it. One is variables and the second one is functions. And we're going to start by talking about functions first. You create a function by writing F-U-N-C. There's a bunch of built-in ones that you're kind of already seeing here inside of the systems, ones that are already built into Godot. If we write in, we'll write in ready, like so. So we're making this ready, and then if we hit enter, it'll automatically tab in, right? And we're just gonna write in print, parentheses, hi, like so. Okay, now if I run the game, we're gonna hit select over here to select that scene, and we're gonna select it doesn't matter, because that's the only scene that we've created so far, then it's going to run. I'm going to minimize it so that we can see what happens. And you're going to look here in the bottom where it says output, and it's going to say hi once. We've already created some communication. See, we're creating a function right here. And this function, Godot, actually communicates with our script. It communicates with this node and it says, are you ready? Uh, if you have something that has this name, a function that says ready like this, I'm going to run it for you when I am ready to call ready, basically and it does it it's the first thing it does well one of the first things it does when it loads up that scene so it says the scene is ready do you have anything that you want me to do and Godot and the script here what we did when, with this little bit of communication here is we said yeah I actually want to say ready and the thing is anything that is tabbed over underneath with one tab like so underneath ready like this will happen it will happen right and I can keep on going. See, hi, it will happen, keep on going, right? So let's delete 
the second two down there because we just don't need them for now. I'm going to hit enter and I'm backspace once and it'll put me back over to the left. Anything that happens here is now outside of that function because it's not tabbed over underneath ready anymore. And I'm going to make a second function. And the way that you make a function is you name it whatever you want. You don't have to do all these underscores if you don't want to. See, I'm messing up all the capitalizations on purpose and doing all sorts of things that people say not to. And I'll even put a, I'm not going to put any underscores in it just so that you see you don't have to. And I'm going to print do what you want. All right. So I created a new function here that's, you know, horribly spelt out and stuff. We normally follow these uh, normal processes. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say whatever you want. It'll kind of autofill for us. We're going to double click that. And here's where we're going to be running whatever you want. This one I made up. This is not built into the oh, obviously, because why would they build something like this? And then I actually built it in and I'm calling it when things are ready. So if I minimize this and I hit play really quick, and the output right here, do what you want prints out because I'm calling it up here like so. Now you don't have to remember exactly how to do everything on here and it's best to practice on something. So for really quick, uh, why don't you guys try to create your own method, your own function and run it inside of ready just like everything else is being run right now. Go ahead and try that now. So once you're able to do that, you kind of get what to do. You create a function and you call it somewhere else. Ready is simply being called by Godot outside of what's happening inside of the script. And there are other th functions that if you make them inside of here, Godot will automatically call them in other areas as well. And the, there's really uh, three main ones that you need to know, and that's ready process and physics process and we'll kind of go over them throughout the series of how to use each one of those things. Um, the other thing that you really need to know about are variables. Now variables are like containers for information. They're like jars that can fit in certain things. Depending on what you put in that jar, the variable changes what kind of jar it is basically. So you, writing in VAR is basically like saying, hey, I'm just going to put a jar out, empty jar right here. And then you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it poop because I'm immature and uh, I'm trying to display to you that it doesn't really matter what it's named. We're going to put an equal sign after that. And I'm going to put quotes like this, like so. And we're going to say, I really should upgrade my toilet humor. Right, so var poop equals I really should upgrade my toilet humor and quotes like this, right? And then now instead of having whatever you want, just print do what you want, we're gonna just write in poop right there. No quotes, no nothing, the same title as right here. We're gonna minimize this and hit play and it's gonna say, hi, I really should upgrade my toilet humor. Why is that happening that way? Well, so when we created this jar, this is what this bar basically means. You make that empty jar to hold something. You're going to say, okay, we're going to call this jar poop, right? And we're going to fill it up. This equal sign basically means we're going to fill it up with something. Now, I really should upgrade my toilet humor. Now, when you fill it up with something, you're basically determining what kind of jar that you have. Like, you know, you fill up a jar with pasta sauce. It's obviously a jar of pasta sauce, right? And if you uh, fill it up with... Uh, you know, pickles, it's a jar of pickles. It's a completely different thing. But when we fill it up with a string, with uh, quotes like this, we fill it up with what's called a string, which stands for like a string of letters and characters. And it can even be like numbers inside of here. Like you can put a one in there or an exclamation point, whatever's inside that string will, will print out here on the bottom as long as they're within those quotes, right? It doesn't matter, one exclamation point. Those, still part, those are still characters, are still within the string. So when you fill it up with something, it determines what it is. So this is like creating, so keep in mind, like this is like creating an empty jar, but once you fill it up with this stuff, it determines, oh, I'm a string, and then it'll fill it up. And every time you say, hey, can I get that poop over here? Just like you're saying, hey, can I get that uh, regu sauce? I think that's how you pronounce that name. Or can I get that uh, rouse? Or what's a famous pickle brand. I don't even know. Dills. Can I get uh, those dills? Can you pass me the dills real quick? You know, people know what you're talking about because this is like the branding, you know, the brand name right here. And that's pretty much the bare essentials of programming. There's, there's a little bit more that we're going to have to extend upon that. But this is like literally 
90%, no, not 90%, this is like probably 70% of what you need to know. Like everything else is just applying this in different ways. Uh, I mean, there's like, you know, in terms of the amount of things to learn, there's, we're, this is barely 1% if, if that, but yeah. But this is like the major things that you're going to be using a lot. So just keep in mind, the one the, the big takeaways here is that there, there are functions that need to be ran. You can run them in different things like so, right? So you create them, and then you can run them. And there are some that Godot automatically runs for us, and we're going to be making lots and lots of use of that in here. And then there are some that are already built into Godot that we're going to be running as well, which we haven't used at all so far. But I will be showing you those in some later videos. So running functions and variables are the two big things that we're, we tried to learn today. I hope that you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you're following along, if you're having a hard time. If you're not following along right now, don't get too concerned with that. This is, this is a long process. I'm going to explain it in different ways. You're eventually going to get it. You, but biggest thing is to actually type things out and do it. Especially if you're not getting it, you should type things out and try to apply it and do things in your own way. Uh, try to make your own variable, name it what you want, and put your own string inside of it. Uh, in other words, make your own quote and make your own function and make it print inside already. That's a really good way of kind of cementing this knowledge. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to actually start building this game up. All right, have a great day.